Erdaid Barakas. Erdaid Barakas. It's Tiger's Eye. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome. If you are new, my name is Katie. But if you're not new, welcome back, love. So, in today's video, we're going to go over this Tiger's Eye. I have no idea how to pronounce the producer of it. Is it Herdaid? Herodade? Barracus? Barracus? Who knows? All I know is that this is an indica. This is a 22%. And it is from Portugal. So, it is also on the lower spectrum of the price. So, I believe that this is £6.50 per gram. Looking at it, obviously, we have one of these tubs yet again. So I was very, very happy to see that my recent prescription of Tripoli arrived in a much, much smaller packet. Um, because if you've been around on this channel for a while, you will know the frustration that I had a while back about these packets. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'll link the video in the description so that you can go ahead and watch that video after this and it'll make a lot more sense. So I was a little bit surprised um, to see that we have pots still, really. I thought that we were, you know, getting away from that. We were going more towards the foil packaging, but hey, there we go. It does have distributor contourage on here. Um, so <coughs> Sorry. So I don't know whether this is due to the actual Herodade Barracus people, whether they put it into here or whether it is down to uh, contourage. But either way, I'm not really happy with the state of the pot. But you're not there for the pot, are you? You're not here for the pot. You're here for what it's like. So... Full transparency, I've already told my members, because there is a separate member video where I just fucking pushed live on the record and was like, fuck it, hi members, and spoke a little bit. Um, so members already know that I have already opened this. Those of you who have been on this channel for a while will kind of know the way that my reviews go. Uh, I will open it with you and show you my first response. However, um, this arrived when I had absolutely nothing and it arrived at half 11 in the morning and there was no way that I was going to go and do a YouTube video just to get a first review out of me opening a fucking pot. So I digress. So this has already been opened, so I can't give you my first reactions, but I'm very, very glad that I didn't come back to you on the same day. And I'll tell you why. When I uh, first looked at this, which you will be able to see what I'm looking at right now, well, in a minute, I'll film a short for you, and that short will be connected to the description and in a pinned comment. But once I um, looked at it for the first time, it's it's fairly dark, right? So it is, it is fairly dark. The consistency is okay, but there's not a lot of smell. There wasn't a hit at all when you open the pot so those of you who have had sour gas farm gas modified gas parve lot 420 you will know the that you get when you open up the packet right <clears throat> yeah well you won't get it with this but is that because it's six pound fifty is it is it because it's six pound fifty because i'm telling you now i'm starting to see why these ones are priced so low and why £8.50 for your standard lot 420 and green carrot and stuff like that. However, I still want it getting lower. That's a different, that's a different story. But it looks okay. It looks okay. There's no smell out of it, but it looks okay. It's dark, not super dark, but dark. Not a lot of shake in there, if any, to tell you the truth. Not a lot of shake at all. The nuggets are fairly decent. So you've got some medium sized ones, you've got some small ones, and then you've got like a fairly decent sized lump. So the consistency is okay on that front. But when we get into actually medicating <clears throat> with it, I, um, I don't know how I feel about this one. And I'll tell you why. So 
there's no fucking flavor like and if it is a flavor it's a weird one it's not a bad one but it's a weird one um it doesn't pack a punch at all um it does however help you get to sleep i will tell you that it's been very very good with the night time this is an indica so you'd fucking expect that right um but at 22 percent which is fairly low on the scale of indicas at 22 percent it does its job at getting you to sleep for six pound fifty if you can get over the fact that there's hardly got any flavor to it it's not really um it doesn't appetize you like you don't want to medicate with it but it still gives you the effects right and i know obviously that's the whole fucking point of medicine but we still need to actually enjoy it at the end of the day right nobody wants to take something that's disgusting for them like yeah maybe good for you but can't we do better so i agree with the fact that yes it's definitely got the qualities of the indica right here um it was definitely good for sleep that's kind of about it for me um i have had this during the day as well and i was yawning so again this is definitely good for evening time i wouldn't recommend this to the veteran smoker i wouldn't recommend this to the long-term patient unless you've had this you understand of its subtle yet effective qualities and you're happy with it and I only say this because there are so many patients out there that want the top top shelf shit, right? They want that, that banging bud at the end of the day, right? We kind of all do, right? But there are certain patients, I am kind of one of them, I kind of am on the fence, I will get lower tiered ones, but there are some patients out there that will spend the money purely just to get that high quality stuff. And so, sorry, my phone was ringing. I thought I put it on, do, do not disturb. Hold on a second. Completely thrown. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so for those people who are always wanting the top shelf shit, I obviously wouldn't recommend this because you are gonna you're gonna have this and be like, what are you it's doing nothing, absolutely nothing, right? But it's it is a mediocre, okay, six pound fifty strain. Like, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I hate that it comes from Portugal. I, I, I don't like that. But it's, it's, it's mediocre. Again, it is. It's just mediocre. It's okay. There's not much else I can say for this one. Like, yes, the effects are there definitely for the night time for £6.50. But you may have to get a stronger strain if you're somebody like myself. Um, so I ordered sourdough along with this and Tripoli. Um, admittedly, my sourdough is still sitting in the Montu shop and I have to wait until I've got the extra money to pay for it. But I anticipated that this could happen, right? So this is why I put sourdough on my prescription as well as something like this, because this in itself is not going to be enough punch for those who have been on prescription for a while, unless you're happy to take the low flavor and things like that, right? So it is worth a go if, you know what I'm saying? Like you get what I'm saying by now, it's worth a go if you're one of them people that don't mind spending, you know, 65 pound on 10G, as well as something else to make sure that you've backed yourself up in case either A, you don't like it, B, it's too weak or whatever. I wouldn't get it again, but I'm not upset or mad at it, if that makes sense, right? I'm, I'm not upset or mad at it, but I wouldn't get it again. So take what you will from that, right? Um, I reckon we're going to have to do some sort of tier list coming up because there's so many strains coming out. I've done, you know, so many since my uh, review tier list thing, whatever, uh, in December. So maybe we'll have to bring something out. Let me know down below if that's something that you'd like to do. Uh, like the video. If you like this video, obviously send it out to the algorithm and I'll do more reviews. Um, I can only do content what people like, right? So yeah, always keep that in mind. If you really like something, please just spread the energy down to just press it because then I know, oh, uh, people like that. Let me do more of that. You know what I mean? So yeah, thank you so much for listening to me. Tiger's Eye, worth a try. A, but not if you are a veteran smoker that likes your top shelf Cali shit. All right.
Take care of yourselves, love. Take care of each other. And I will see you next week in the next video. Bye.